bite for bite, this is the best eating experience I've ever had on one of these things. Uh, both of these pizzas are amazing pizzas. Everybody, it's Nicole Russell from Last Dragon Pizza, and welcome to Pizza Wars on First We Feast. In the pizza world, no topic is more controversial than Chicago deep dish. Is it the ultimate cheese and sauce stuffed comfort food or tomato soup in a bread book? Well, today, we're gonna find out if two thin crust loving New Yorkers have what it takes to make a deep dish pie fit for a Chicago native, the one and only Sean Evans. Plus, Fairy Day from Munchies is here to make sure the judges' table stays fair and balanced. I'm putting my own spin on this challenge by whipping up a chicken parm deep dish. But my challenger, she's coming straight out of Brooklyn, and I know she's gonna bring the heat. Hey everybody, I'm Josephine from Lenny's Pizza in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Lenny's Pizza has been in Bensonhurst since 1953. It's from the iconic movie Saturday Night Fever when John Travolta comes up to the window and grips a double decker, two slices right on top of one another. A New York City pie is something that you're just able to take, hold, and fold, and just eat while you're running your errands. When I went to Chicago, I actually needed a fork, a knife, it was a casserole filled with butter, and a pound of cheese. Definitely excited about making a Chicago deep dish. It's something I never did, and I'm also really excited to try Nicole's pizza, even though mine's gonna be better. You heard that? <laughs> All right, Duke's up, Duke's up. Josephine, I'm so stoked that you're here. You don't even understand, I'm such a fan. So tell us what we're doing today. We're doing deep dish. What you got going on? All right, so I got a little spin. We're making a Chicago deep dish. Right. But a New York style crust. I know You know that's what right. I mean? You yes. got it, you got it. I'm going to make a Giordano pizza. Oh. I know there's a place in Chicago it's called Giordano's. It's my last name. I figured I'd make a part from there because I'm kind of grandfathered in. You Maybe you can teach him a thing or two. Oh, listen, I don't want to get that far. <laughs> I don't want anybody knocking at my door saying, oh, you're going to teach me how to make pizza? <laughs> So right now I'm just taking the dough and I'm trying to pull out as much air out of the dough and pan as possible. Okay. There's actually two layers of this dough. Oh, so you put two pieces of doughs in there? Yes. That's pretty damn smart. It's a casserole. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps calling a casserole, they're gonna kill her. They're gonna kill me, I told you. If they come <laughs> knocking on my door, I'm not answering. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna add some meats. All right. Try to distribute it evenly, just so that we have a nice bite of everything. I got some sweet Italian sausage. I'm gonna lay it all out flat, right over the pepperoni. So I'm just adding a little bit of mozzarella. This is actually an East Coast blank. I'm adding an ample amount for a New Yorker, but I know this might not be like a huge amount for someone who's from Chicago. So I got peppers in, I got some onions in, and now I'm gonna add some mushrooms. So you're just gonna like pack them all in, just pack it all in. Pack it all in. Okay. Like a lasagna. It's never gonna be a deep dish. Now it's a lasagna, <laughs> it was a casserole. I'm gonna add some sweet sauce, my okay. marinara sauce. My father told me I had to bring this. All right. So if, listen, if you don't bring this sauce, they're not gonna know what pizza is. I'm like, all right, fine, I was gonna make a sauce. He's like, no, no, you gotta bring my sauce. Aww. This way everybody's gonna eat good. I'm adding some Parmesan cheese to the pizza oh. right on top. I mean, you can never go wrong with some Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan makes everything better. Right, and then I'm also gonna poke some holes on top of this. Yeah, so it can breathe. Yeah, and I'm also sending a signal so these people who think they're gonna come to my house. <laughs> Can't take up. The oven's at 425. I'm gonna put this in for 25 minutes. Let me help you, darling. Awesome. Thank you Got so it. much. Okay. Oh, look at that beauty. That looks good. I'm gonna try to figure this out. If not, I want you to go down to the first floor and I'm just gonna flip it over. You stand there with a plate. <laughs> I'll just catch it for there you. There we go. <laughs> For somebody who never made a Chicago pizza, you sure are a pro. All right. All right. Look, look at, at that. that. OK, awesome. Nicole, look at this one right that there. That looks good. This one looks great for you. All right. Enjoy it. Oh, I can't wait. Amazing. Look at that. This is really good. It's so delicious. I like the way that onions are still so crunchy and nice. Yeah. Overall, it came out great. Um, it's definitely a casserole. 
and uh, <laughs> it is what it is, you know. But What's it's it's delicious. Okay, Josephine. Your casserole blew my mind, right? You mean the Chicago pizza? <laughs> yeah, the Chicago okay, pizza. Okay, got it. It blew my I'm gonna make a casserole too, though. Okay. But it's gonna be chicken parm. Oh, wow. What do you think about that? Honestly, that's a great idea. All right, well, let's see. So what I have here is some chicken breast. I have it brining in some buttermilk, right? Then what I'm gonna do is take this chicken, dip it in some flour, egg, breadcrumbs, and fry it. Oh, it's coming out good. That looks great. My inspiration was Lou Malnati's, and I know that he uses a biscuit crust, and I love, you know, red lobster biscuits. So I always used to practice making those biscuits at home, so I kind of wanted to make a pizza dough biscuit-esque kind of crust. We'll see what happens. Are you kidding? I'm so excited. This yeah. is gonna be real good. Hopefully it works. Pray for me. I wanna win. But I love you. I love you too. Either way, we're both winners. Okay, so I have my dough here. And I'm just gonna start it out like I was gonna do a pizza. But actually, I'm just gonna roll it out. Because in here is chunks of butter. And I'm gonna roll it out really thin so then I'll get flakes. Now that I got my piece of dough in the pan, I'm gonna start it off by using whole slices. I have some sliced whole milk mozzarella and some sharp provolone sliced also. So now I'm just gonna toss this chicken right in here and spread it evenly through the bottom. And now what we're gonna do is add a little sauce. Cause you know, I feel like a good chicken parm needs a little sauce on it. I'm gonna add some provolone cheese on top of that. That's gonna give it a little sharp kick to it. I'm gonna add the mozzarella on top now. So now I'm putting the sauce right on top of that mozzarella. Nice. All right. And then finally, what I'm going to do is I sauteed some breadcrumbs, and some garlic, parsley, and some anchovy paste. Special sauce. Give it a little crunch. Nice. A little texture, right? Yeah, definitely. All right. It's ready to go in the oven. Let's throw this in. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, oh, take this out. Boom! I think it smells amazing. Well, let's give it a try. Get some chicken. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get some chicken and oh, it the cheeses. Like chicken palm. It's good. But what do you think? Winner, winner. Chicken, chicken dinner. dinner. <laughs> think Shauna like it? I mean, listen. I think he's gonna love my pizza too. Yeah, he is. But he this is. is really good. Now we gotta go to the judges' table. We've got Sean Evans from Hot Ones here, and we got Faraday from Munchies. So let's see what they think. I'm ready. Moment of truth. Let's do it. Sean, Faraday, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, excited to be here. Sean, let me ask you a question. What makes the best Chicago deep dish pizza? Well, you know, I, I'm a lover of deep dish. Uh, it's something that I crave, you know, now living here in New York. I get frozen Lou Malnati's sent to my apartment. To me, what makes it good, the golden brown butter crust of it all. And I think where it can lose a little bit is, is if it gets a little soupy. I think that's what separates the good deep dish from the just okay deep dish. Okay, that's thorough, I get it. It begs the question, like, is deep dish pizza? I think that it's like a style of pizza. We've got like Neapolitan, you've got New York style. And I think that this is a style of pizza. It's got the sauce, it's got the cheese, it's got the crust. Despite probably a lot of people are gonna be like, no, and disagree <laughs> with me. I think that yes, it's pizza. I will consider it pizza. Yes. I'll take that. All right, guys, there's a deep dish right in front of you. Josephine, you're up first. So what I made for you guys today is a Giordano's deep dish pizza with a little bit of a New York flair. We have some sausage, pepperoni, mushrooms, peppers, and mozzarella up in there. And then I have my own Lenny's Pizza pizza sauce on top. So between all of it, I'm winning. Sorry. <laughs> all right, I'll do the honors here. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice cheese pull. That's a good pull. That's good. I put extra cheese for Sean. Sure. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm going right in. Oh, Pick wow. It up. I'm going right. right in. Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> that really was um, an experience that transcends eating. Like I said, I get deep dish 
delivered to my place. It's, it's something that I crave. The, the regional Chicago delicacy I miss most when I'm not there. I'm not joking. Up there in the pantheon of legacy Chicago deep dish pizzas, absolutely thank amazing. Thank you, thank you, great. The thing that sometimes I don't love about a deep dish necessarily is when it's like overly saucy and kind of like all over the plate. That is something that's also really fun about a deep dish pizza. But I like that this kind of held together really well. I love like sausage and peppers together. Mm. And I like that you brought in your like New York flair and it's it shows, it's delicious. Yeah, your work cut out for you. I know, I know. I, know. <laughs> I did something a little creative and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Ready for some chicken parm deep dish? I like the way yes, that sounds. Yes, 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 Let's yes, go. Bring it. Well, it looks and smells delicious. Okay. I can't wait to dive in here. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at that. You're holding it with your hands. That's bomb. I mean, this is delicious. And I do love like the different textures. It's very cheesy. It's The sauce is delicious. I like the crust. I like that it's very hydrated. It's flaky. It's delicious. <laughs> and too, to like the texture, the way that you cut through it, and like there's the different kinds of mm -hmm. crunch as you yep. work your way through. Oh, thank you so much, guys. I've sat in seats like this before and done shows like this. Bite for bite, this is the best eating experience I've ever had on one of these things. So uh, both of these pizzas are amazing pizzas. Decisions, decisions. That's what's going through my head right now. We don't have to agree, right? No, we don't. Maybe we should one, two, three, go this. And just That's like, a good say idea. It. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I think I do have my winner in my head. I don't know, wait, give me one second. Yeah, 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 take your time, take your time. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting sweaty. Thinking my about heart this. is <laughs> like beating out of my chest. Jeez. One, two, three. Nicole. Nicole. Oh, <laughs> <damn>. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> oh my god! I really? almost, I almost was at the last time. Like, oh, no. same with me. Oh. Same with me. Like it really was it that was close. So close. It is a, a coin toss with this. Yeah. You know, no. like. I believe memorable, you. memorable pizzas. You guys could open up restaurants in the 312. Thank you. You know? That's awesome. They need to watch out. Sean and Faraday, thank you guys so much for being here too. You guys are like trailblazers, and it's an honor to have both of you here today. And you know what? Make sure you tune in again next week for Peace Awards.